Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku with your Sky Tower radar forecast. 644, we made it to the weekend and overall should be a pretty delightful one. I'd say for the most part, you just want to dress for the cooler air that's still around here. The morning hours, we're talking about basically seasonable temperatures in the 50s. There are some 40s on the map too out there this morning, but a nice healthy recovery this afternoon with 70s. But tomorrow, we've got even cooler air starting to filter on in. That should set us up for a really cold Monday morning, we think. It's 56 right now from this view. Look at this. I told you it'd be a nice sunrise, and it's shaping up to be one. 7.15 officially the time. So about a half hour from now, we'll get the sun up here, and eventually the temperatures will follow suit. Northeast winds at the surface at the moment. What we'll watch for is the winds that are above our heads and basically cloud level. They're basically going to be coming in from a different direction, and that's going to help to support the chance for building cloud cover later today and then eventually some rain. The story this month has been about the above average temperatures. With the exception of last weekend, uh, last Sunday, and then yesterday where highs didn't get out of the 60s, for the most part, it's been all about the warmth. Well, that has ended, and the stretch that we're in now is basically just going to support a continuation of below average temperatures, not just in the mornings, but in the afternoons too. I think we'll put below average temperatures this week. Weekend. So this weekend is going to be cooler than last weekend. And next weekend, which is Christmas weekend, could be colder yet as those temperatures may fall down a territory we haven't seen in a long time. Here's a look at where we're standing right now. A lot of 50s on the board to start. Nothing really out of the norm here. Uh, these are kind of close to average temperatures for mid-December. It is colder to the north where you got 40s, so certainly the light jacket will do you good. Here's our climb today. It's future temperatures. And watch as we get into the 70s. The sun will help us out for a time, but then we lose that sun, and that's when we'll see a couple of those showers, which I'll show you in a moment. Overnight tonight, tomorrow morning, same kind of deal, same kind of temperatures. Into the 50s, there'll be some 40s around, but with more of a northerly component to the wind, high pressure building tomorrow, those temperatures will struggle and we'll be basically stuck in the 60s, kind of like we were yesterday. Then those uh, northerly winds, that cold air really gets entrenched. And by the time we wake up Monday morning, we're in the 40s in Tampa. So we're really going to need to bundle up come Monday morning. Here's what's going on on water vapor. You could kind of see, and I'll step out of the way here so you could see, there's a little bit of a kink in the subtropical jet, and that's what's energizing the atmosphere over here. And that energy is going to be moving across uh, the Gulf into Florida here by later today, scooping up some moisture offshore and helping to produce some showers. So there is a rain chance we have to talk about later today. I don't think it's really, really that high. And we're not talking about super, super heavy downpours. But I want you to know that by after sunset tonight, there could be some showers working their way into the nature coast. And you'll see kind of more spotty variety showers here perhaps into the overnight hours. I think it's gone by the time you wake up tomorrow. Those residual clouds give way and we're back to sun. There is another rain chance after that. This one comes in on Tuesday, and I think this one could bring us a healthier dose of rain before we really get that cold blast in here. I think it's a, not a bad boating day. It's a little bit cool out there on the water, but northeast winds will cooperate and seas will run you about two feet. It's next weekend that you can already start to see some signs that something is going to be changing. The bottom falls out temperature wise and we could see lows in the 30s and 40s and highs in the 50s and 60s Christmas Eve and Christmas Day.